Damn it, I got cut off there. Um, so, uh, I was talking to you, I was waffling on about missing links. Um, and what happened was um, I'd taken uh, an, um, an image out of the folder that it should have been in, and then I'm getting this question mark. And uh, what's InDesign saying to me? It's saying, where is um, this photo? I don't know where it is anymore. Uh, and it needs to know. Even though it looks like things are okay because the photo is still in the document, it's not really. Uh, and it, it's like just a sort of a crappy quality print screen. So you've got to relink stuff. How do you relink stuff? Well, um, you have a links panel. It looks like a chain. It's either up here or if it's not, window and links. And you see, got that horrible red question mark. I double click on that and it's saying to me, where is this? Well, I foolishly moved it out of my uh, actual project folder into my documents, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but uh, just to demonstrate to you how to fix that, uh, this is now relinked. The chain is there. So InDesign has found the image and is no longer panicking. OK, so let's say you've done your layout. You've shown it to me. I've signed off on it and I'm now happy with it. Um, then the final thing you need to do, we can actually close InDesign for this bit, and I'll close my browser, is quite literally to just go to your project folder. Uh, and so you've set this up. In my case, it's called Neon Issue 6, uh, but yours is probably called something else. Um, right click and go to 7-zip, and then add to Neon Issue 6. Zip. In fact, what would make my life, I'm going to tell you to do this right now, what would make my life a lot better is if you renamed this. So if you rename your folder, so it's called your name, whatever the hell your name is, and then right click, 7-zip, add to Neon Issue 6 or whatever you've called it, dot zip. That will create a zip folder. Zip folders are easy to recognize because they've helpfully got a little zip on them. And this is what I need you, that zipped version of the folder, there's mine, is what I need you to submit on Google Classroom. Uh, so I'm gonna create a space right now for you to submit them on Google Classroom. Um, and all you have to do is upload the zip. I can then download it from my end and put it into the actual full magazine. Hope you enjoyed your time of InDesign. It's a bit confusing at first, but hopefully you start to get a sense of how powerful and fun it can be. I like it. I like it. It's not weird. I like it. Nothing wrong with it. See you later.